and ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. But he that endures to the end shall be saved. But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. And ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. You'll notice in all three mentions here that the context is people will be persecuted and put to death and all this sort of stuff all the way until the end of the world. So we as Christians, as believers, we will continue to be born of God. We will continue to be saved all the way until the end. In no way is the context suggesting that you have to endure death in order to be saved. You don't have to endure persecution to be saved. You don't have to suffer these things and continue to believe to be saved. That's not the context at all. The context is people will continue to get saved all the way until the end. But he that endures to the end shall be saved.